Alright, good morning everyone. It is day three here on The Wish and we're just sitting down for breakfast and we've got an omelet order coming and our waitress that we had on our last cruise is back, Melissa. Um, shout out to her if you guys are coming on a Disney cruise on The Wish. Request Melissa from St. Lucia. She's awesome. Okay, our ham and cheese omelets have just arrived. And breakfast is delicious. The French toast is really good. Okay, and we're pulling in to Castaway and cast members are out. Oh, they're all... Look at that. And there's like a little bridge to walk to each station. giving you guys an overview. This is where we get off the ship. And then there is the post office in that building. That's the gate that they check your ID. And then you've got, I think that's Marge's Barges. You walk all the way down the path to the beaches down there. All right, here's another look at Castaway from the back of the ship. All right, had to go get some more breakfast. So I got my Mickey waffle with strawberries and cream. Jimmy got a pancake and there's some Mickey. And this is our view from our balcony this morning. They're just hustling and bustling, getting all the food and everything ready to go. And we'll be getting off shortly. Okay, we're supposed to be able to get off at 8.30 and we're just gonna kind of head down to the gangway. Get the castle pictures. And of course, everyone is hovering. All right, we officially made it to Castaway. Here's a look at the ship. Very hot already. <laughs> Don't forget to pick up your towels. Thank you. You can buy some coolers, some water. There's our first look at Rapunzel. Of course, you can take the tram or you can take the walking path. We take the walking path because we like the picture spot here with the sign that says Castaway. Strands keep left. And right here. Welcome to Castaway. All right, we've got a hammock, a chair, there's snorkeling out there, and we got a hammock here, and we're all just getting ready to go snorkeling. Last time we came to Castaway, Dumbo was broken and they took him out of the snorkeling area, so we're hoping to find him this morning, and then we'll be on our way to do something else. But don't forget to come to Flippers and Floats over here to get your life vest you have to have one if you're gonna snorkel if you want um, snorkeling gear you have to pay extra for it but we brought our own and we're gonna head snorkeling now switch to the GoPro now ready, ready for the toe test got our gear on and we're all ready to go it's it cold yeah. toe test I think it's okay so far. Not too cold, but it's really hot out, so I know when I get further down it's gonna get colder. And Kimmy and DJ are coming down in just a minute. Not too bad. I'm the first one out here. And look at the beautiful Disney Wish. I think this is the fastest we've ever gotten in the water. Alright, we're gonna go find some statues and I'll see you out there. Just 
doing the slides here at Pelican Point. So here's a look at the slides for Pelican Plunge. They've got an open slide and a closed slide. And then they got some like little water gun things you can squirt out and the bucket can drop on your head for water. Kimmy and I also had water shoes on and they told us we could not wear the water shoes on the slide even though that they were like zippered and everything. And I don't think you can take any GoPros on there. I'm not 100% on that, but I don't think you can bring it on the stick. If you have it, it might have to be on your head or like the hand one. So, yep. And then Kimmy and DJ just went down as I was talking, I think. So they're swimming up now. Okay guys, we are finished snorkeling and we're just gonna go ahead and look in the shops. And it is going on just a little after 10 o'clock already. So we got a good start to the day. I'm not going to show you guys everything, um, but if there's something new, I'll definitely point it out if I can. But here's the shop. Okay, so this is the first time we're seeing this kid shirt here. We've got Rex, Castaway Key, and the water bottles. I can't remember if this shirt was here before, but Bird of Paradise. I think there was something like this, but I don't remember it being on yellow, so that might be a little bit newer and then I think this flounder shirt is new all right so we got some new arrivals this just in Ooh, another day in paradise oh that's the front is it adult Ooh, I like that no and then here's just a look at the different t-shirt options I'll just scan the wall for you guys all right, and then there's this one. I think this is new. How much are these t-shirts? $24.99. $24.99 for the t-shirts. And then this is the front of that one, and let's see the back. All right, we've got this shirt. This Mickey's in the front. That's cute. There's not very many sizes left though, right? Like those are 3Xs, they're smalls. Like, no mediums or larges, I don't think. And then that one. Oh, that's the front. Oh, no, that's the front and the back. All right, this one's new. Meet me here. That's cute. Not a lot of sizes again. Oh, there's the mine, mine, mine. Oh, all mine. Oh, look at the pine. Oh, look at enough kiwi. That's cute. And then I think this um, stitch shirt is also newer. Oh. Here's a cup. And some water bottles. We're seeing a lot more water fountain stations and water bottle filler uppers, I guess, um, than previously, or unless we didn't recognize them before, but there are a lot more drinking fountains around the island that we're seeing. All right, I think we're gonna head down to the other shops over here and see if there's anything else that's new. All right, we're at the other shop now by the seashore. Let's see if there's anything new in here. Not new, but this is what we were looking for, the cookies one that we saw last time. Oh, oh no, they're out of our size. All right, and here's a quick little overview of the shop. I don't remember this shirt, so it might be newer. <laughs> or tank top. They still have like the button ups and the conked out um, collection. With the castaway blue collection for the running 5K. They have this on the Wish now, like in the shop, but they also have it on Castaway, the little water toy, Disney Cruise Line boat. We got Goofy and Daisy back there too. And then they also have a long sleeve. I don't remember that being on Castaway, like the actual zippy, but it's not all the way down. It's just part of the way down. How much? Um, $69.99. No, I was looking for the thumb hole. Oh, on the sleeve. But no. No thumb hole, no like zipper, no sleeve, no pocket. No pocket. Alright, had to say hello to Olaf as always at the Wandering Oaks. 
Okay, everyone, it is just about 10.30 and we've got some hammocks here and we're just gonna chill out for a little bit until I think lunch. So we're gonna relax and I'll see you guys at lunch. All right, it's 11, a little after 11.30 and lunch just opened up here at Cookie's Barbecue. So excited for this and then some ice cream after. Alright, so we've got chips, fruit, coleslaw, potato salad. We had a switch. Hot dog. Okay, corn on the cob. Oh, ribs. Carrie, back it up. My ribs. My ribs. You didn't get my ribs. Oh, look at that juiciness. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Cookie time. Cookie. So we have cornbread, pineapple crumble cake, chocolate brownie, and a cookie. Yep, load it up. Yeah. Give me one of those. It's so hot though. Yes. Do I want a brownie? That's cornbread. Yeah, yeah, we'll split that. And this is Texas cornbread, so it might have that jalapeno stuff in it. Alright, let's go. Alright, here's my lunch at Castaway. There's Kimmy. And there's DJ's. Alright, we've got our ice cream and the ice cream machine with self-serve here. And they added cups over there by the ice cream Serenity Bay. It is very crowded and a lot more chairs up here because there's not as much beach left and a lot more people out. And there were a whole bunch more in the line for lunch. Okay, DJ found a sand dollar. We're gonna put it down though. And there she is, the beautiful Rapunzel and Pascal, the new stern character on the Disney Wish. Ooh. 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 Okay, 
Okay guys, so we are back on the ship now from Castaway, but look at this Mickey and Minnie in the porthole windows. Okay, so we're on deck four right now, but you know, it's not a wraparound anymore. You have to go up the stairs to deck five to get to the front. So we're gonna go see if we can check that out. Okay, so we're in the front of the ship now on deck six, looking down into deck five. That's the adult spa area there for the rainforest room with the hidden Mickey. And get the flag up here. What? I'm guessing that's the camera that does the the picture. Well, the you know the the TV that we have in our stateroom. Oh, yeah. So I'm wondering if that's. Oh, we should test that out. Someone, Someone go to the room and see if that's the camera that they use. And we've got the Disney Cruise Line flag. Blow, Disney Cruise Line. Blow in the wind. You're on camera. Blow. Here we go. So if you have a dog that needs to do any relieving, you can take them here to Pluto's Corner. So for, we're just walking past and I wanted to show it before I forgot, but Luna, if you're, it's like the upper deck and lower deck. So if you're up here in one of these little booths and you can't see the stage, they have screens on the side so that you can watch and sit at Luna, even though Luna, the stage is down there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're getting things started with our pirate night with Captain Hook and Smee. I just put the shirt on. Next time I gotta find one with you. <laughs> Hi Chip, can I get a hug? Oh, <laughs> thank you. Can we get a picture? All right. Goodbye, castaway. So 
all of the elevators might be a little bit different. This one is the Sleeping Beauty theme. Change it forward. Probably goes forward and it's going with the theater theme. All right, we're going back into the Keg and Compass for some more trivia. Disney's Castaway Key was partly used for the filming of which Tom Hanks movie? That was Splash. Yes. That's right, it was Splash. Which first in the industry feature set Castaway Key apart from other private cruise line islands? And it was the fact that it was the first private cruise line island that the ship could come right up to dock. Because before that, every other cruise line, you had to take a tender boat to their private island. Okay, guys, we just won Castaway Key trivia. We had to do another tiebreaker, and we were in the keg and compass. And now we are going to go to Luna right here and check out this wish quest. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe we run around and do a scavenger hunt type thing. So that's what we're going to check out. Okay, this is what we won at Trivia. Just one. <laughs> they didn't give us one each. Come on, Disney. Where's those Mickey medals at? We, we work hard for those. All right, guys, they just handed us a number. We're number 13. We have no idea what's happening. It's a brand new show. I've never seen anybody do it, so we'll find out together. While we're here, look at the fancy Luna menu. Oh, yeah, open it up. Let the people see. Oh, fancy. Oh, tilt it. There we go. This is what it says about it. It says, time is racing and the hunt is on. It's the wildest scavenger hunt on the high seas. Okay, so how are we doing tonight? <laughs> well, welcome to Wish Quest. My name is Hannah and this is Ben. We're gonna be your host for this evening. Now, think of Wish Quest as a super concentrated scavenger hunt that takes place right here in this very room. That's right, we're gonna do a scavenger hunt, but we don't need to leave. Luna Lounge. And I want to see your team number and a piece of candy. Go, go. So we're just finding different items around the room and then you have to bring your team number and that item up. So right now Kimmy is bringing up, Kimmy brought up four left shoes to get a point for our team. So now everyone has to bring a wishing wand, but nobody has their wand, so we're just bringing up random objects. Kimmy tried to bring a pencil up. I don't think he's counting any of it. Board. We always seem to do this on pirate night, I've noticed. We're just cruising along real slow. Woo. And tomorrow is a sea day. Okay, right now we're in one of the jewelry shops on deck three. Here's some new characters, Abu, Jasmine, maybe Yoda. Got the Cinderella Disney Wish merch in here with the special collection, Cinderella mug, postcard, and some of the pictures. And then you got the Cinderella statue, the snow globe. And you've got a tote bag. And some ornaments. And the other side of the bag. I know who would buy this. Allie. And Javon. Got a new inaugural wish bag. And some Dooney and Burke. There's another cruise bag. Oh, and a Dumbo bag. What are these Pixar? Yeah, look at them. Sally, oh, Joy, Edmode, Wally, and the marble. And the marble. <laughs> so this, these are the Pandora bracelets, and these are the inaugural sets you can get. One's got Rapunzel, 
One's got Captain Minnie, it's kind of hard to see in the case. And then there's the Mickey ring. All right, and that was Deck 3 Treasures Untold store. All right, guys, yep, we've gotten the more ice cream. We're gonna get ready for the deck party.
the new caretaker and overseer of this fine vessel. <laughs> Simply put, this ship is mine! <laughs> the ship is now yours to do with as you please. But this is our ship. Aye, how about we win it back with a captain's challenge? No, blast that pirate code. No, very well. The terms. If I win, you want the flag. Oh, no. I'm free. No. Oh, oh. And in the unlikely event that your crew succeeds, we get the ship back. Do we have an agreement? Agreed. Then I say that the captain's challenge, especially the Now, first thing any real pirate knows is that when a captain gives you an order or asks you a question, what do you say? Lucky guess. Sweet, give them the next one. And make this one especially rough. All right. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh, I just gave the answer to the last question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, Captain, sir. Here's the next test. Oh, and it's a good one. All three pirates enjoy a good celebration. Aye. If you are real pirates, let the Captain see a true pirate jig. Show them, brew and make it mine! That's the way! In the marble, we're back in the marble restaurant. Here's a look at the menu. The main courses. I got the Rijani cake, which is the corn bread and a bread. All right, and we've got our bread service tonight. Okay, guys, so we just decided to order one of the kids menu items here. Just got a regular salad with some ranch dressing and yeah, just something like to start our evening off with. We've got the jerk chicken here. Kimmy got the same. And what did you get? Steak. For dessert, I've got the bananas in paradise, like a banana bread. And then I've got the Mickey bar. And what did you get? I had the cheesecake. And more Mickey bars. And what did you get? I got the rum soaked chocolate cake and bananas in paradise. Chippendale up here. 
got Mickey down here, Minnie's right here, and the chandelier is red for pirate night. All right, we're back in the Luna Lounge for some ultimate this Disney trivia. What is the name of the statue that stands in front of the monumental castles in Disneyland and the Magic Kingdom? John, you, my friends, will be going home with a Disney Cruise Line fidget spinner. You've got to go to Pirates Rock and Pirate Lake. Okay, guys, we just won the Disney trivia. We got some fidget spinners, but now we're getting ready for the Pirates Rock and Parlay party. Here's the final cannon blast before the big show. It's time to put your hands and hooks together for the most rockin' pirates around! So we're just here in the lobby now for the end of pirate night and the chandelier is red it's supposed to have a special pirate show tonight instead of the cinderella one so let's see if it's any different and i think we're about to call it a night 
So these special things happen on the hours, so 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and 12 o'clock if you want to come see the chandelier do the little show while we're waiting for the pirate chandelier presentation with the pirate Peter Pan theme. So I would tell y'all each star, there's five stars. So there's one, two, three, four, and then the one in the middle is five. And um, each one represents a different ship. The magic, wonder, dream, and fantasy. And then the one in the middle is for the wish. So up on deck four, across from the chandelier, you have the Wishing Star Cafe. And I just wanted to point out some Pinocchio themed items. We have some Figaro and Cleo art on the wall. And these are the mosaic tiles, just like in Cabanas with the Finding Nemo portraits. And then over here we have Geppetto and Pinocchio. The bar has charging stations. And then I'm gonna show you a tier. We have too many cricket. Another thing to look for if you're looking for Pinocchio's or the uh, Wishing Star Cafe is the carpet right outside of it is themed to Pinocchio. We have Jiminy Cricket, Cleo, and Figaro. Continuing up stairs to the fifth floor. You can take these wrap round stairs. They go a little bit higher than the other ships. And I believe this one up here is the Sword in the Stone. And this one also has a carpet outside of it. Yep, deck five. We have the Sword in the Stone. And you can see them as turning into the squirrel and the fish. And there should be a bird too. They don't have them turning into the bird, but they change into all three. So this is the Enchanted Sword Cafe, and you can see the swords in here. And this bar has, oh, there we go, it has plugs as well. And this is also right across from Mickey's main sail, at least one of the doors of it. We have been trying to get a shot of this the whole trip, but it just everybody's at it all the time. Oh, and Disney Vacation Club has an office as well here on Deck 5. If you're interested, they're always out giving out goodies. Grand Hall also has your vacation planning, so if you want to book another Disney cruise or maybe you have some other questions, they are here to help you. And our towel animal tonight is a monkey! Yay! Hooray! Hooray! 